This bit really needs no explanation, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> but you're able to have this media browser over here as uh, the farthest to the right option. And basically you can pull in different media. So this is a screen recording. So I always get a screen recording video and the microphone input that I had from that. And if I wanna say, take this image file and bring it into the project, I just drag it in and you can see it's immediately added to the media library. And so it's there, I can play with it. Even if I delete it from the timeline, it actually stays in the media library so I can bring it back into the the timeline whenever I'd like. Uh, I can bring in multiple copies, of course, and all that good stuff. And you can change the view depending on what you want. Uh, you can look for media on your computer. Uh, you can go to the Files app. I'm actually not going to show those just in case you see all of my files. And <laughs> But basically, these files that are over here are actually put into the project file. So your project is going to have a copy of all of these files here. So this one that I just pulled in, I can trash it. I can empty the trash. and It'll still work. My project will still run. Uh, let me empty the trash here just to prove it. Trash is empty. I'm going to play this back. And obviously, this still works because it's part of the project in the ScreenFlow project folder. So that's how the media library works in uh, ScreenFlow. I should also say if I want to delete it, I can delete it and it will then ask me, hey, do you want to move from the timeline as well? And it will. Uh, you have to actually. So if you delete it from your library, it can't be in the timeline. So that's how that works in ScreenFlow. Mm -hmm.